As the Formula 3 season is starting this weekend, I'll be telling you my predictions for this championship which debatably has the best racing in all feeder series. This year there will be 17 rookies, 7 drivers contracted to an F1 junior team and 1 championship to ride on your CV. All combined, very interesting stuff. So let's get into my predictions for the 2021 Formula 3 season. by the following points best performing rookie best performing team most improved driver most improved team who will finish on the podium and win races and i'll show the final top 10 standings of the drivers and constructors championship at the end of this all so first of all who will be the best performing rookie of this season from the 17 rookies there are there are a few who have a high possibility of getting this achievement the four who are making a chance on this i think are jack crawford johnny edgar victor martens joe colette and arthur leclerc jack and johnny with Ravis and ADAC F4 last year as well and they're both Red Bull Junior drivers but I think they're just a bit too young and they will only get a few podiums each. So the fight is between Victor Martens, Charles Collette and Arthur Leclerc. The first two are with MP Motorsport and they're both Alpine Juniors. Leclerc is with Perma and is a Ferrari Junior and Perma was the dominant team in the final two years as in 2019 their three drivers finished 1-2-3 in the championship and in 2020 it was 1-3-4 with Theo Poitier coming home in P2. Premar won't drop a lot in performance as that would simply make no sense, the car hasn't changed a lot and so Leclerc makes a big chance on this one. MP Motorsport finished 6th in both 2019 and 2020 but in both years they only had 2 drivers who were scoring decent points. Martens and Collab will be pushing each other to higher levels but I think it just about isn't enough against Prima and Leclerc so my bets for Rookie of the Year go to Arthur Leclerc. Which team will be the best performing team? Well. The last two years Prima have dominated and I think their driver lineup is worse than last year going from Sargent, Festi and Piastri to Caldwell, Leclerc and Hauger. I think Trident and ART are the teams who can challenge for the team championship as well. Trident was performing pretty good last year as they took 3 wins and ART took 2. Both the teams took 9 podiums. At ART only Theo Pocher was scoring some decent points whereas at Trident Lirim Daly and David Beckman were both scoring fair points. 104 and 109 and a half to be specific. Whereas Oli Caldwell, their teammate, only scored 14 and guess what? He has switched to Prema for this season. Trident has contracted Duan, Novalak and David Schumacher this year and out of those three I think Clement Novalak is the only one who can score some reasonable points so Trident won't be the best performing team. At ART there are Cordea, Vesti and Smoljar. Vesti really is one of the title contenders and I think Smoljar can take some podiums as well but it will be a very difficult season for Korea on his comeback but the fact he has made it back to single seater racing is a massive achievement by itself. An outsider for the best performing team is MP Motorsport who had some great results in preseason testing with Martens and Collet and I think at the end of this all it will be very close between ART, MP and Prema but Prema will just about take it due to their results in the final years and the experience they have. The most improved driver is always a difficult one but there is one driver who I think will improve a lot this year and that is Frederick Vesti. He drove with Prema last year and finished fourth in the championship behind both his teammates but wasn't in the championship fight at the end of the season. This year he has been contracted to the Mercedes Driver Academy and he will drive with ART GP. As he has Juan Manuel Correa and Alex Moyer as his teammates, he will be the best of his team and knowing ART, they will primarily focus on him. I think Fred will finish higher than 4th this year but I will tell you exactly why I predict him to finish in about a minute or two. Because first I'll predict which team will be the most improved team. I've talked about MP Motorsport and the drivers already and as they finished 6th last year I can see the Dutch team improving a lot. As Colette and Martens will take a couple of wins for the blue suited car. In the FIA Road to Formula 1, F3 is under F2 in the pyramid, so all the drivers in Formula 3 obviously want to get to Formula 2 after one or two seasons in Formula 3. You still here? Anyways. Last year, 8 drivers performed good enough to be promoted to F2, and the Leda is in the first series under F1 as well. Bruh. But how many of this year's drivers will be promoted to F2? I think this year, 7 of the 30 F3 drivers will be going up, as Nanini already is in F2. And and F3 this year and some more drivers like Vesti will have to be promoted after their second year in Formula 3. Formula 3 is a wild series with a lot of different drivers excelling throughout the season and there will always be loads of surprises in the season with 
different winners and podium finishers. Last year there were 9 different winners with 15 podium finishers and I predict this year there will be 10 as there are 3 more races this season. Those winners are Hauger, Leclerc, Edgar, Crawford, Novelec, Vesti, Smoljar, Martens, Collet and Sargent. Although it will be very difficult for Logan as Charou was pretty miserable last year. Looking at podium finishers I think there will be 18 so 8 more and those 8 drivers who will achieve a podium somewhere as well are Caldwell, Duhan, Correa, Stanek, Nanini, Rasmussen, Sauvet and Fittipaldi. So those were some wider predictions but now let's get to the real deal. What will the final standings look like? Obviously the full standings are impossible to predict and I won't bore you with that so I'll predict the full top 10 standings starting at number 10 where I think Logan Sargent will finish. After finishing third last year he couldn't pay for an F2 seat so he ended up at Charu for this year. Although he is with Charu, I think he will still get some good results to finish 10th. In P9 there will be Smoljar within P8 Jack Crawford, the American Red Bull Jr. P7 will be Oli Caldwell as although he is with Prema he's just not a very good driver, let's be honest. P6 Clement Novalak, the English driver with a French racing license. And then coming into the top 5 we have Collet, Martens, Hauger, Leclerc and Vesti. In P5 I think there will be Chao Collet as the Brazilian is just about a bit worse than his teammate Victor Martens who will finish in P5. Four. Arthur Leclerc is the one who will finish third I think and this means that Dennis Hauger and Frederick Vesti are the only two drivers left. A Scandinavian battle for the title you can say. Norway versus Denmark or is Denmark part of Scandinavian? Well let's not start that debate now. Who will take that Formula 3 title? Hauger who finished 17 in F3 last year but is with the best team on the grid currently or Vesti who was with the best team last year when he finished fourth? I think... Vesti will take that title. The newest addition to the Mercedes Junior Academy will be scoring a lot of points with his experience from last year and will be the champion of FIA Formula 3, following up Robert Schwarzman and Oscar Piastri. What about the Constructors Championship though? I've already told the favourites and I think that Prema will be taking that title. I think ART will finish second as Frederick Vesti will obviously take home a lot of points and the other two drivers will take some points, just decent points. And MP where two drivers will score loads of points will finish close in third. Then there will be quite a big gap to Trident with High Tech Grand Prix finishing close behind the Italian team in P5. For P6 it will be close between Charou and HWA and this is solely due to Logan Sargent this class. HWA will take it though as they have the better package overall. I expect Carlin to finish 8th unfortunately for Johnny Edgar with Jensen unfortunately for Pierre-Louis Chauvet in P9 and Campos finishing at the bottom of the table as they simply have a shitty lineup and they haven't performed very good in the past years. So what do you think about my predictions? Do you think I'm right or will all these predictions age badly? Let me know who you think will be the champion down in the comments below. Like, subscribe and I hope to see all of you later on my channel. Bye-bye.